Good morning, everyone. Um, folks had said they wanted to learn how to do the faggoting stitch, so I thought I'd take a quick few minutes this morning, see if maybe I couldn't uh, do a quick video to show you how to do that. Uh, I found this ugly little sample piece that I've used to demonstrate other things before, so uh, I created a little window here, and I'll show you how to do this faggoting stitch. Um, Normally, let me just preface this by saying, normally when I do faggoting stitches, I usually like to um, um, wrap the rows uh, above and below the window. And here's an example right here. Oops, I don't know if you can see it or not, but um, it's not showing up, is it? Here we go. So you can see here, oh, it's just not a very good, not a very good picture. Uh, where I've I've wrapped on either side, and the reason I do the reason I do that is because now you can put your stitches anywhere you want. Uh, if you don't wrap, which is why I did this purposely this way, um, it just becomes a little bit more challenging um, to keep your stitches within the threads or within the stitches that are already there. So anyway, let's get started. Um, all I've done is I have brought the thread up. Uh, through a stitch on either either end, the, the beginning or the end, or this is the way I coil, so this is the beginning, this is the end. Uh, you could either start on the top, the bottom, or over here. doesn't matter. I brought this thread up through that stitch on the top, anchored it, and now all I'm going to do is come down through the coil and through the thread on the opposite side of the window. Okay, pull it tightly, uh, but not so tightly that you start to close your window. Now, there's a little bit of a space created behind the thread uh, between the coils, and I'm going to bring my needle up in that space behind the thread in the direction uh, of which I'm moving. So I'm moving in this direction. I'm going to bring my needle up behind the thread on the other side. I'm going to cross over that thread and bring my needle down, push my needle down through the stitch on the top coil. Okay. Again, it creates a little bit of a space right here. So from the underside, I'm going to pull my needle up through that space. And tighten it up just a little bit cross over and we're going to go to the opposite side and push our needle down through the coil through a stitch on the opposite side. All we're doing is going back and forth across that window from top to bottom, bottom back to top, and bringing our needle up in the space created behind where we just placed the thread. Again, I'm going to go over to the other side I'm going to bring, push my needle down through the coil on the opposite side, and you see now the big window here, or the big space created. Pull my needle up through that space, go to the other side, and you're beginning to see the faggoting stitch or the faggoting design performed. Probably what you'll want to do in a window like this is the stitches across the bottom need to be a little bit closer together because the stitches at the top are going to be wider apart just because of the design. Now, if you had wrapped all that row, you wouldn't need to worry about it. So down through the top, there's the, the space created right here. Come up through it again and come down across. Now, let me show you something on purpose which is the issue you run into if you do not uh, wrap your coils. And, and I'm not saying you have to, because there might be designs where you simply cannot wrap that coil and you have to work with a bare coil in order to, um, you know, to do your project. But let's just suppose here that I, I miss going into this stitch I just miss it and I, and I happen to hit the edge of the bare coil. So what happens is now is you see that 
this coil, this stitch is, can move within that coil. Now, once you complete it, though, it will tighten up so that it won't move anymore. But the risk you run now is that if you pull this too tightly, you're going to pull, you're going to rip this thread right out through the coils. So it, you can do this. You can you can um, anchor your faggoting stitch in a bare coil. Just if you do that, be very careful that you don't pull very tightly, uh, because you will run the risk of it coming right out of the coil. Okay, I'll leave it and just go on to the next one. Actually, I think I missed that one. No, I got it. Okay, okay. And that is basically all there is to a faggoting stitch. It's a zigzag back and forth across your window where you bring your needle up in the space behind where you just crossed your thread over. Okay? I'm not going to go ahead, I'm not going to finish this side, although it's almost done. Um, but what you would do is when you get to the other side over here, just anchor your, your thread, just finish it off and anchor your thread in any way that you want. All right? So there is your faggoting stitch. It makes a nice, um, a nice filler for uh, windows and handles. Uh, the bigger that this space gets, while it is pretty, it will come up with an entirely different look and you just need to possibly, you know, give it a try and see if you like that look. Uh, another filler for larger areas is something that's called um, a fishnet. Okay, so here is the, here is the fishnet right in here. So you might consider something like that uh, if you have very large, wide, open spaces, see, which is what I did with this. Okay, that's all you get for Saturday morning. Um, enjoy and have a great weekend.